this particular book is about a child, you know, who's, who's, uh, whose father has been killed and his, his mother's um, um, temporarily uh, sort of, you know, locked up for her own sake. So it, it is about a child and, and his, his, his progress, uh, you know, in, in, the, um, in Western Australia as his grandfather looks after him. I'm very interested in all, all the different kinds of love. That's what gets me interested. And I was very interested in doing, um, portraying the relationship between a grandfather and a grandson. One of my grandfather's great proverbs was, is the only way to be happy is to make other people happy. And uh, he always told my mother that love was actually the most important thing. And um, when I went to university, on the other hand, I did, I did I studied philosophy, and that was all about extreme rationality. We use our reason in order to implement what our emotions demand of us. And, and I, I, I think it's, the, it's this emotional side of us that, that I find the most interesting and the most mysterious. It, it's actually a prequel um, to um, a book I wrote of a similar nature called Red Dog. Um, it came about in rather a strange way because the, the, the film, uh, somebody made a film of Red Dog called Nelson Wass and later on he thought, let's, let's do a prequel. So he, he commissioned a script and made the film. I do, I do trust his artistic judgment. The Red Dog was an extremely good film. And I have to say, I have not even seen the film of Blue Dog yet because it's not coming out until um, um, 2017. Although I do want to leave a literary inheritance and, and I, I th I've got a suspicion it'll be Birds Without Wings that actually lasts, that stays the course. But um, when my mother was dying, she said to me, we did have fun, didn't we? And I think, I thought, yeah, we did. And I, that's what I really want. I just want my children to remember me as having been fun.